This is Tallinn. It is not only the capital of Estonia, but home to a third of our population. We contribute more than half of the country's GDP. Everything we do here in Tallinn affects the whole country. Tallinn is located by the Baltic Sea, influencing nine other countries and tens of millions of people with its activities and the example it sets. The Baltic Sea connects Tallinn not only to Northern Europe, but also to Central Europe. But it hasn't always been like this. The sea has always been dear to us, but our ties with it were cut for decades when Estonia was forced to join the Soviet Union. Our shoreline was the border zone dividing the West and the East, dividing cultures and communities. A brief visit to the past, the establishment of large-scale industry, military units in the middle of the city, pollution flowing directly into the Baltic Sea, and these are just a few examples of what was happening throughout Eastern Europe just three decades ago. Nobody talked about our city being green. But here we are today. In less than 30 years, Tallinn has developed free public transport, repeatedly reduced the amount of pollution flowing into the Baltic Sea, developed parks and environmental education, learned to involve the community and started developing entire ecological quarters. We have taken a new course and made dozens of big decisions very quickly, all of which have changed the city beyond recognition. However, what Tallinn is like affects the whole country, the entire Baltic Sea region, indeed the Eastern Europe from the Baltic to the Black Sea. Over the past 30 years, Estonia has been the fastest developer in the region. We have set an example in the development of democracy, digital solutions and education. We believe that Tallinn can also set an example in regard to green thinking and to show other cities and countries, especially in Eastern Europe, how big changes can be implemented in a short space of time and with limited resources. I'm very glad to welcome in the studio the Prime Minister of Estonia, Mr. Yuri Ratas, and obviously the Mayor of Tallinn is here with us, Mr. Mihail Gilvart. Welcome. Mr. Prime Minister, you were the Mayor of Tallinn from 2005 to 2007, so you know how important such recognition would be to Tallinn. But is it true that it was you who came up with the idea of European Green Capital Award? Yes, I came up with the idea already 14 years ago, and we finalized it together with our European colleagues. What does it mean to you as a mayor that Tallinn is in the final of European Green Capital Award 2022? Of course, uh, it's a great honor. I'm glad that our efforts uh, have been noticed. Uh, the city has nearly half a million residents, 20,000 uh, employees work in our organization, and we all aim for a greener city. And while doing so, we have achieved uh, quite a bit. Low noise levels, uh, pure air and water, ban on single-use uh, plastics uh, in all of our public events. Mr. Prime Minister, from the point of view of the Prime Minister, how would you describe the impact Tallinn would have on Europe? I believe that Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, would be a very smart choice as the green capital of Europe. It would be a success story for the whole of Estonia and inspiration for other municipalities here as well. Tallinn is lying on the border of culture. We need to use this resource, a unique opportunity to expand the European green impact further from the borders of the European Union. This way, green shift will happen in the whole Europe quicker and expected. The European Union has set an ambitious target for Europe uh, to be the first climate neutral continent by 2050. What is the role of Tallinn in achieving this goal? Understandably, the role of cities uh, and uh, regional level governments uh, 
is very important uh, in uh, implementing uh, the Green Deal. Also, we are a small city, we know that everyone's uh, contribution matters. This is why, as a sign of our commitment, uh, we endorsed uh, the Mannheim message uh, as the first Baltic city. Estonia, as a member state, has also supported the Green Deal. But how does the government support Tallinn's ambition to be the next European Green Capital? On the behalf of the government of Estonia, I can state that the country fully supports Tallinn vision. Tallinn is a mobilizer and innovator that leads the way, both at home and internationally. Success of Tallinn means success to whole Estonia. This is why we have decided to support Thailand's program for green capital years also financially. Thank you to the Prime Minister of Estonia, Mr. Yuri Ratas, and the Mayor of Tallinn, Mr. Mihail Kölvart. Here are the four main ambitions of Tallinn. Firstly, a new way of thinking. We will design a green governance roadmap that any city can implement. We are willing to be active partners and mentors for other cities facing similar challenges. Secondly, biodiversity. Preservation and further development of Tallinn's rich biodiversity. Thirdly, carbon neutral city. Fourthly, clean Baltic Sea. In cooperation with other cities and countries, we will fight against the pollution in the Baltic Sea. Dear jury members, in the following short videos and interviews, we will take a closer look at these four pillars that will affect tens of millions. A new way of thinking. Great changes come to life in cooperation. European Green Deal is based on this assumption and implementing it on a regional level is successful if we engage partners from private and third sector. Joining forces with the Green Tiger Corporation platform will accelerate our city becoming fully sustainable. The platform is designed to boost environmental awareness and create a basis for a green economy. We hope to inspire all of Eastern Europe by creating, adopting and helping others to implement the Tallinn model. What is the Tallinn model? To put it simply, a roadmap for a sustainable organization and governance that any local government can implement. Some examples are green public procurements, green academy for local leadership, citizens' assemblies for finding innovative solutions for complex issues, or using only green electricity in the city's buildings, public transport and streetlights. That we have already done. Everything begins with a new way of thinking. For us, it consists of three parts. Education, digital solutions and the circular economy. Let's start with education. We pay special attention to teaching children about the environment. A total of 36 schools and kindergartens have already set up their own teaching gardens with the support of the city of Tallinn. Thousands of children take care of hundreds of trees, bushes and vegetable patches, growing produce they later turn into soups and smoothies. See õppäed on hästi oluline sellepärast, et linna lapsed just näeksid, kust kartul tuleb, kus tuleb porga and millised, mis on maitse taimed ja saavad ise käed mullaseks teha. Ja see õnn ja rõõm, mis nende nägudes on, et kuidas nad võtavad midagi üles, on hästi kirjeldamatu. Estonian education system is among the best in the world. Estonian school children are ranked first in OECD's Programme for International Student Assessment latest rankings. In addition to education, where Tallinn and the whole country stand out, we are proud of our extensive use of digital solutions in everyday life. Tallinn 
Tallinn would make a very good green capital of Europe because we are so visionary and we can make a strong impact not only in Europe but globally. For example, there are several global initiatives started from Tallinn where Cleanup Day, uh, startup hackathons, so we can make a bigger impact not only for Europe but globally. For example, Tallinn has also uh, developed a dashboard. Dashboard is uh, very informative for the city officials, uh, also for the management, but also for the citizens to understand what is happening in Tallinn. So there is a lot of data available, visual data, information from different registers, databases. So this is what also we have developed for the uh, green capital of uh, Tallinn program. Tallinn is known as Silicon Valley of Europe and based on Startup Estonian database we have over a thousand active startups. In 2019, 50 important tech companies signed the Tech Green Pledge with a promise to be climate neutral by 2030. As a digitally sustainable green city, Tallinn is home to many international green tech companies as well as prestigious Greenest Summit first held in 2018. Greenest Summit is the largest green tech event in the region. Greenest Summit brings together public and private sector experts, companies and investors all over the world. We organize Greenest Summit here in Estonia in Tallinn, third year in a row, and this year, 2020, we organize it together with 16 different organizations. Greenest Summit offers solutions how to make world a greener place. Tallinn aspires to be a circular city. This is Wolfscape, the first CO2 positive district of Tallinn, which aims to open for public in 2026. Once completed, it will be a home to 16,000 people. Wolfscape is currently an industrial area in the heart of Tallinn. Our plan is to turn uh, this area into the first climate neutral uh, district within Estonia and the Baltics. We have partnered up with Tallinn Technical University with the goal of creating a digital toolkit. Why we're doing this is to gather all our know-how into one model and hopefully with this we can support other similar developments in the area and why not to the whole world. The toolkit for developing climate positive districts will be ready in 2022, right in time for our European Green Capital Year. It is a practical tool and will be part of Tallinn's Green Capital legacy. Reet Taus is a PhD qualified fashion designer and environmental activist. She is a pioneer in the field of industrial upcycling for fashion and has developed the UpMate certification in order to pass on her knowledge to brands and factories. Also, she is a senior researcher at the Estonian Academy of Arts. Here in Estonian Academy of Arts, we start the project this year with Tallinn City. And uh, one partner is also Stockholm Environmental Institute, Tallinn Office. We are running a course uh, related to the upcycling design. So it's all about how we could circle leftovers back to the life cycle. And uh, the idea is that we analyze Tallinn uh, leftovers, uh, mostly office leftovers, and our students will design upcycled products and gifts for the, for the city. So we would be really happy if city finally would produce them as well. This is how a green city is built. In cooperation with universities, environmental experts, entrepreneurs and local government. The circular economy is not new to Tallinn or Estonia. It all starts with reducing overproduction and overconsumption. Tallinn is the birthplace and home for World Cleanup Day. Let's Do It World is leading the World Cleanup Day in each third Saturday of September. Our organization philosophy is to raise awareness about the waste situation in the world, also bring the people together, communities together, to cure the trash blindness, and also eventually to change the people's behaviors about the waste issues in the world. 
World Cleanup Day 2020 were led from Call and Media Center from Tallinn and we are enormously thankful to our Tallinn City Mayor and City Council for all the support and also engagement on that day. We are really pleased to say that our Mayor and also our Prime Minister took a part of the World Cleanup Day by going to the cleanups, raising the awareness about the harm what is doing to our environment. Peter Pihel is a zero-waste chef de cuisine who has worked in world-famous restaurants. He is a green visionary of Tallinn's restaurants. We try to help people think greener. For example, we have our own composter and uh, we don't use any unneeded plastic in the kitchen. People of Tallinn definitely have the green mindset because that's the reason why we can run our restaurant. Sorry for making you hungry, but that's the new reality of Teams meetings. No food, no drinks. But I can't see you, so who knows what you're up to at the moment. Anyway, once we've conquered COVID-19, you are all welcome to Tallinn, where food is really good. And it's because of the fresh air, pure water and fertile soil. We know how to cherish nature and biodiversity. Biodiversity. 65% of Tallinn has permeable surface. 115 square meters of green space per citizen. 20% of Tallinn is covered in forest. Tallinn is already one of the most biodiverse and greenest capitals in Europe. We have 60 parks and numerous flower beds, even bogs half an hour from the city centre and forests in every district. But we want to move forward in three directions. Pollinators, gardens and green areas. Pollinators need our help. We have a solution. Right now, there's an old railway line and overhead power lines but it will soon be teeming with thousands and thousands of pollinators. It will become a part of the pollinator highway. A 13 km long green corridor for pollinators and people running through the city. But this is more than just plants and bugs. The project also designs new urban city space that is rich in different activities, community and allotment gardens a new tramway and even a bridge, right here in the middle of the city. Uh, this green corridor connects different city districts and valuable green areas and uh, different bumblebees, uh, butterflies and solitary bees use this corridor from moving one green area to another. I'm very happy that I had the chance to work with a team which created a whole new urban space vision for Tallinn. And me as a cyclist, I'm particularly happy that uh, citizens uh, will get a new green movement corridor. Pollinator Highway is a part of uh, Central Baltic Interreg project where we test uh, new augmented reality possibilities in urban planning practices. By 2030, we are going to expand this concept into 10 different areas around the city. There will be 10 pollinator highways in Tallinn. 10 bustling boulevards where they can live, work and reproduce. These bees live on top of a roof of a bank, right in the city centre. Well, this is the bee garden on the roof of uh, El Jave Bank. Tallinn is a very, very green city and actually bees thrive in, in, in city environment. They, they really actually love it. And the honey that we get from here is very, very rich. More than 20 plants in the, in the honey. We are a bank and in bank we love money and we love honey. It is a small garden here on this very roof, but there are many more in the city. 12% of Tallinn is gardens. This garden is located in Mustama, a modern residential district of Tallinn that was built in the 1970s. The whole of Eastern Europe, from Warsaw to Bucharest, is full of such housing areas. 
I'm glad that community gardens are not just hipsters with dream, but actually it uh, involves a lot of people from different nationalities, different backgrounds, different age. We have a lot of elderly who find new purposes to go out, to tend with their garden, find friends. We have uh, different uh, Russian speakers and Estonian speakers, expats, and they all work together. See on kõikidele. Kõik võivad siit võtta, kes on meie kogukonnas. Võtta siit saaki, kurki, tomatid, maitsainid. Una suši harusi zis kollektiv. Me tud apšiaimse, me tud za stalom sidim. Vot, eto očin balšu djelo. Community gardens are supported uh, by the Tallinn uh, city government. So we have a specialist and we have a budget that specially focuses on promoting all of this. We had two community gardens uh, two years back. Now, with the support of Tallinn, we have 10 new gardens, also this one, where we have uh, more than 500 people working together. For our green capitalier, we will invest in 10 new community gardens and develop a network of green areas. Nine kilometers from the city center, even a man is just an insect here. Eight kilometers from the city center, Seven kilometers from the city center. Five kilometers from the city center. Do you know any other European capital where a 20 minute bike ride will take you to Natura 2000 site with 240 bird species? We are restoring coastal meadows that will enhance the breeding and foraging conditions for many declining birds directive species. Skorne Bastion, the largest bastion in the Nordic countries, is an old greenery with a huge perspective. Lying between the UNESCO World Heritage Site Tallinn Old Town and the sea, it will soon connect the greeneries surrounding the Old Town. This is Lasname, Tallinn's largest district with more than 100,000 inhabitants. By next year, a gigantic nature park, Toindiraba, will be here. This will provide activities for every age, for anyone interested in hiking or sports. The forest and wetlands are preserved and the habitats of newts and pollinators are improved. The third pillar of Tallinn, a carbon neutral city. As a capital in the Northern Hemisphere, we know what cold means, and we have to deal with reducing the emissions coming from keeping us warm. The goal for Tallinn's heat sector for 2030 is to produce at least 80% of heating using renewable sources such as wood industry leftovers, efficient cogeneration or waste heat. As lately as in 2008, all energy was produced from fossil fuels, primarily natural gas. In 2020, 70% of heat is supplied to Tallinn District Heating Network from cogeneration plants using locally sourced biomass and municipal solid waste. Renewable electricity produced in these highly efficient plants replaces electricity which Estonia would otherwise produce from oil shale, thereby resulting in annual decrease in CO2 emissions by 400,000 tonnes. Also, in 2020, first clients have been connected to Tallinn District Cooling Network. Together, district heating and cooling offer best solution for green and sustainable energy in urban areas. Tallinn is a great role model in Europe when it comes to use of renewable energy and cogeneration in district heating. The share of district heating is approximately two-thirds in Tallinn, which sets us ahead of the pack in Europe. Our public transport has been free of charge since 2013. This year, we brought 100 new biogas buses on the streets. Over the next couple of years, 250 more will come. 
Mr. Prime Minister, Tallinn is known as a city of free public transport. What impact has this had on the city? Just as it was planned, at first more people are choosing public transport over cars. Citizens of Tallinn can use for free not only tram and bus, but also train and ferry. The great example of Tallinn is being practicized now around Estonia. In several municipalities and regions of Estonia, the transport is free of charge. So Tallinn has been a great example to the whole country. First of all, thank you for the kind words. Uh, but um, let's be honest, uh, there is still plenty to do. Our city was designed during a time where the need of mobility was uh, rather different. Newly published Tallinn 2035 strategy reflects uh, urban mobility and uh, traffic calming uh, as a main objective. Citizens uh, were widely involved uh, in the development of the city strategy and uh, their ideas uh, are represented uh, in the document. What motivates Tallinn to reach for the European Green Capital Award? We have a great team and uh, active citizens. Uh, I'm very glad that all of our city, government, uh, institutions, buildings uh, are members uh, of the Green Office Environmental Management Systems Network. Many of our kindergartens and schools uh, have joined to the EcoSchools program. We are systematic and quick adapters and also willing to learn in the city government as well. Thank you for your answers. Six months from now, a citizens' assembly will be held in Tallinn. Citizen assemblies have been used around the world since 1970s as democratic accelerators. The uh, global experience has shown that if you choose randomly uh, people and give them enough time, adequate and scientific-based knowledge, and guide them through a well-planned process, they make legitimate decisions uh, for the whole of the society on even such complex topics like how to tackle climate change and how to reduce car traffic in cities. Currently, there are 294 kilometers of bicycle lanes in Tallinn, an increase of 64% since 2010. According to the Tallinn 2035 development strategy, the speed limit of more and more roads will soon be 30 km per hour. We have already started with this. To prepare for the future, one needs to listen to visionaries. Martin Gaivats leads the entire country's AI sector and is responsible for the vision and governance architecture of the country. One of his main interests is self-driving mobility. I've been actively riding bike uh, in the center of Tallinn for the past 20 years. And the reason why I started promoting self-driving mobility in 2010 uh, was the same. In order to get more space for humans, for bicycles, we actually need to get rid of the cars. Uh, shared self-driving mobility will actually give us this potential. We can utilize the space given to us roughly 20 times better than we are using it now. And we can build actually human-centric cities. Did you know that two self-driving buses are roaming around the streets of Tallinn? One of the buses is officially part of the public transport network of the city. This is the card that allows each citizen of Tallinn to ride the Tallinn buses and trams for free. 96% of citizens already have it. Sadly, no bumblebees yet. We want to give this card more functions, green functions. As you can see, the card is already green, and now we have a plan to enhance it. Our strategy is simple, to give people green points for sustainable choices. For example, for choosing public transport or a bike over a car, for recycling and reusing, or for visiting repair shops, or for choosing tap water in restaurants. And for the points, they could get discounts on the city services, such as kindergarten or hobby school fees zoo, public swimming pool or sauna tickets. This summer, we asked the people of Tallinn what do they think of the idea. Hundreds of people from very different communities answered.
85% said that this kind of a system would motivate them to choose sustainable actions. We also asked them where they would like to gather points and where to spend them. Our analysts are working on the data and we hope that we can pilot the system next year already. This is one of the great concepts to be launched in 2022, during Tallinn's Green Capital Year. We want to create simple but innovative digital tools that all cities can try out for themselves. Let's have a look at the fourth pillar of Tallinn. From this corner of Kalfa, Finland, some famous uh, Baltic German travelers started their voyages. For example, von Bellingshausen, who was one of the discoverers of Antarctica, and uh, von Krusenstern, who led the Russian first circumnavigation. In the beginning of the uh, 20th century, when Estonia struggled for its uh, independence, uh, right here stood uh, British warships and uh, supported our struggle. Estonia is on the edge of Europe. The sea has always connected us to other countries. I have sailed from here to Finland and Poland, to France and UK, to Spain and Portugal, almost to everywhere. Hi, Pedro! Clean Baltic Sea. As you may know, the Baltic Sea is one of the largest inland seas in Europe. It is surrounded by nine countries that are home to 80 million people. Sadly, it is one of the most polluted seas on the planet. Our fourth goal in becoming the European Green Capital is a clean Baltic Sea. Over the last 30 years, we have reduced the pollution flowing into the sea by enormous amounts. Change begins with small things. Cigarette butts containing plastic filters are the most littered item in the world. In cooperation with the World Cleanup Day, we held an anti-littering campaign, Bin Your Butts. We invited Port of Tallinn, Tallinn Airport, major shipping companies and an NGO to join us and the latter marked stormwater drains with a yellow frame stating Sea starts here. Ballot bins brought to the urban space direct attention to the cigarette litter problem in an unexpected and fun way. We also introduced these to many other cities including Helsinki, St. Petersburg and Gdansk. Greetings from Gdansk. It's a great idea to draw attention to the condition of the Baltic Sea. And it would be a good for the whole Baltic Sea region if Tallinn become the green capital of Europe 2022. Gdańsk and the Union of the Baltic Cities fully support Tallinn's efforts to reduce man-made pollution. I'm sure with Tallinn as a green capital of Europe 2022, we can raise people awareness and reduce the amount of waste discharged into the sea. Keep my fingers for Tallinn. Thank you to the Vice Mayor of Dansk. Strength lies in cooperation. It is equally important that we have strong stakeholders in the city with whom we execute our plans. One of them is the Port of Tallinn, one of the biggest ports on the shores of the Baltic Sea. The vision of Port of Tallinn is, is to become most innovative and most green port in the Baltic Sea. And therefore, we are of course heavily supporting the ambition of the city of Tallinn to become the green capital of Europe. And of course, to support uh, city ambitions and our own ambitions, our focus is, is the clean air and uh, water or Baltic Sea and therefore we have done quite a lot already on let's say innovation and a green agenda. A couple of years ago we installed a smart port application to manage and control uh, vehicles and trucks in our port area. Then just now we are installing onshore power supply for the vessels. We hope we will have them connected by the end of this year. 
and also we're just working and installing outro mooring system uh, for free keys. That means less uh, definitely emission and, and less noise. Port of Tallinn is helping to prevent the discharge of waste from ships into the sea. They are using circular economy solutions in several operations already. The greenest port in the region affects more than just Tallinn. The sea and the wish to clean it unites us all. One of our long-term goals is to cooperate with the cruise ports of Western and Southern Europe. We all have similar problems that need solutions. Now, we will give the floor to our neighboring capitals, Helsinki, Stockholm and the city of St. Petersburg, who support Tallinn as a finalist of the European Green Capital 2022. Tallinna ja Helsinki sijaitsevat yhteisen meren eli Itämeren rannalla. Yksi Helsingin ja Tallinnan kaksoskaupunkiyhteistyön prioriteetteja ovat juuri Itämereen liittyvät ympäristökysymykset. Kun yhteinen meremme voi hyvin, voimme kaikki muutkin paremmin. Tallinna on ehdolla EUn Green Capital ympäristöpääkaupungiksi ja Helsinki toivottaa onnea ja menestystä Tallinnalle tässä hyvässä pyrkimyksessä. The city of Tallinn is indeed a worthy candidate to become the next green capital of Europe. The way Tallinn addresses citizen dialogue, biodiversity in cities and the reduction of pollution in the Baltic Sea are really worth highlighting. I believe that the city of Stockholm is very much a part of family of European green capitals and it would give me great pleasure to welcome the city of Tallinn to this unique family. Столица Эстонии, ближайший сосед и надёжный партнёр Санкт-Петербурга. Мы с радостью приняли весть о том, что Таллин стал одним из четырёх финалистов конкурса на присвоение титула зеленой столицы Европы. 2022. Наши города расположены на берегах Балтийского моря. Одним из направлений нашего сотрудничества стала экология. Вместе мы многое делаем для того, чтобы сохранить для потомков чистоту нашего общего дома. Мы высоко ценим ваши усилия по борьбе с загрязнением окружающей среды. Thank you to the mayors of Stockholm and Helsinki and the governor of St. Petersburg. We are convinced that it is cooperation that will lead to a green revolution throughout Europe. Indeed, it's a great feeling of unity we have with other European capitals. Our action and communication plan for 2022 is also based on cooperation that we have with cities and communities across the world. The head of Green Capital Working Group, Anne May, will guide you through the calendar. Hello again. Now we are going to walk you through our Green Capital years. Throughout three years, we are going to engage people on five continents. And as you can see from the slide, our bumblebee keeps flying. This means that many of the events specially designed for our Green Capital years will become a tradition for the city of Tallinn. We have events with global, regional and local impact. So really something for everyone. But now on to our first year. 2021 is the year of cooperation. Firstly, we are going to launch the idea round for our Green Capital Map. The aim is to create an interactive map which has all of the sustainable cities, uh, services, businesses, rec recycle points, uh, repair points on one map. So whenever our citizens are in need of some kind of a service or a place to visit, they can choose the one which has the lowest carbon footprint possible. So in March brings the uh, launch of design procurement for our upcycling center. This center will not only collect, collect waste from different organizations, but will also uh, organize workshops, seminars for our local community to learn about upcycling. April is the climate month. This means that all of our kindergartens and schools, all together 22,000 preschoolers and 46,000 pupils, will gain awareness about the climate situation and how each of them can contribute to keep climate warming at bay. 
We will use all the tools that we are really good at, e-learning, uh, informal education, we will go outdoors and of course give them homework to engage their families as well. One of the traditions very dear to us are youth flower parties. This means one day when hundreds of students from different schools of Tallinn will come to the streets planting flower beds, bushes and trees. And finally, we will take first time in the history the European Green Capital Initiative to the World Expo. In Dubai, for half a year, we will host an exhibition showcasing how Europe leads the way in green innovations. And of course, host seminars and workshops, which put special focus on how Europe and the European Green Deal leads the way for the whole world. This is the full plan of our year. We have events in every month and really for every kind of public. Next year, our main year, 2022, is the year of Korean inspirations. The year will begin when our dear friend Lahti will give us, will pass us on the title. Next, in February, we will launch, in cooperation with all of our city districts, a round of citizen projects. 50% of the jury who will decide on which projects get funding is made of local youth. Pollinator Highway will also be open this year, and so we will host the summer school. We will bring together public sector, private sector and the third sector in designing the program which is aimed to inspire high school students to choose uh, specialities we very much need in today's world. Specialities linked to ecology, sustainability and green tech solutions. The Community Gardens Yoga Festival will raise awareness on the importance of mental health. We all know that greeneries play an important part in maintaining uh, proper mental health, especially in cities. Some of the major global events of our three-year program are taking place in 2022. First of them is a big No Food Waste conference organized in cooperation with the European Food Banks Association. The first historic conference took place already this year. And we continue with really big issues. World Cleanup Day is one of these initiatives born right here in Tallinn as the next European Green Capital, Tallinn will personally invite all of the capitals and the city governments of the world to join us in a major cleanup event. The roadmap you already learned about uh, in the presentation, the Tallinn model, will be for the first time internationally launched during a big conference for the European city mayors right here in Tallinn. BioBlitz 74 will create the green wave of insect service. The day will begin in the New Zealand and in, end in the state of California. Our plan is to take one day, 74 locations, and together with the youth delegations of these countries, we will gather information on the insect populations in these very locations. The data gathered that day will be given to an international team of scientists right here in Tallinn, and the whole project will be accompanied by a communication campaign in order to raise awareness on the declining insect population. These were just some of the events. We will also come to Brussels for the Mobility Week, for the Green Week, and hold various events in the Baltic Sea region. And of course, right here in our home. 2023, our follow-up year, is the year of legacy. For this year, a green capital map will get a tourist edition. And our green card bonus system will travel to Riga. We are consulting with the Interreg Estonian Latvian program to co-finance this project. We do hope that the Tallinn model will inspire many cities to try it out for themselves and see how they can create greener cities. As you can see, our last year will also bring lots of interesting events for everyone to enjoy. To sum it up, we have three years of really interesting program which engages 100 plus countries via 90 plus events. And we all know that it will create a legacy that lasts.